So in 2020, we had one of the worst things to ever happen to not just the community that is the gaming community, but the world. That, of course, is Cyberpunk 2077 and the absolute abysmal state that it launched in. For most people, they were excited because CD Projekt Red is one of, if not the best developers for RPG, open world, solo player games before this time. Obviously, they are they were no Rockstar games, but The Witcher 3 had a lot of people excited. For myself, Cyberpunk 2077 was arguably the most excited I had ever been for a game because every time we saw it, every time we heard about it, it was just exciting. And then the game came out and it didn't release on the current gen consoles until a couple months and it was just on last gen and you could really not do much. It was a buggy mess, the story didn't really make sense, and there was a lot of broken promises. Now with that being said, the DLC actually looks pretty solid. And in the three years that the game's been out, there has been a lot of fixing done from CD Projekt, and it's actually really good now. I wouldn't say Cyberpunk 2077 is game of the year material in any year, but it's definitely not as bad as it used to be. For myself, I played it a couple months ago after the release of the Edge Runners update, which added David's jacket from the show. Edge Runners actually did a huge thing for Cyberpunk, which was make the player base explode again. I can't remember what the numbers were, but I remember it being one of the most popular games on Steam and in most game stores. And it was something that CD Projekt didn't even mean to do. Netflix made the show, the show was a huge hit and it was just pure luck, really. I know I said at the start of the video that a lot of things were broken in the game and that is still true. There are still bugs, there are still glitches, that's kind of with every game, but this game had it really, really bad at launch. And if you want to see like a comprehensive video on that, I would recommend a video from the YouTuber Beat 'em Ups who did like a 30 minute long cyberpunk like breakdown video and he made a song for it. I'll link it in the description. It's a really, really good video. Myself, I finally went through and played the game to its full extent about six months ago on my Xbox Series X and I really, really enjoyed it. I actually got attached to the characters, especially Jackie. I got attached to the Keanu Reeves character, Johnny. I forgot what the actor's name was for a second and it's right in front of me but i was actually hooked to the story i beat the whole game i played it for a couple days straight like i i didn't really play any other games because usually i hop back and forth between games kind of like when i talk i just kind of jump back and forth between topics and then a little bit after i beat the game we got news that cyberpunk was getting one and only one campaign expansion and then just today we got the release date for Cyberpunk 2077's Phantom Liberty launches on September 22nd. Not only making September, again, one of the biggest months that we've had in gaming in a long time, like October and September this year are absolutely crazy, but it's actually really close. And I, for one, am nervously excited for it. It's a different kind of nervous excited, like with my the Quidditch game video I did where I said that it has me worried. It has me worried for a different reason because I don't know if CD Projekt really has my trust on launching something in a good state right now. They definitely have my trust with fixing something because they have gone back and they've done a lot to fix the game. And I'd say it's a pretty solid game. And if you can get it discounted at least like 10 bucks from its normal selling point, I'd say it's pretty worth it. I don't know if $29.99 for the DLC, if you don't already own the game, is worth it. I'd wait to see how it is and I'd wait to see what people say about it, even though you should always make your own opinions. I, I think this is one of those situations where you should be waiting for other people. I'm gonna get it because, again, I was really, really into Cyberpunk's world. I was into the lore i i love the animated show so i i think this is just something i feel like i have to get also you know more keanu reeves for me is everything that i need and also with the addition of idris elba i i just i really cannot miss it but yeah we know a good amount of it we know that it's like a spy thriller expansion is what they're calling it and that we're going and playing as V and we're playing with V as Johnny. So it takes place during the main storyline 
probably somewhere around the middle portion of it. I'd say definitely before the ending because there's like the three different endings, right? Or however many endings there are. We're also going to a district of Night City that was not explorable before called Dogtown and we have to save new United States of America's president, and that's pretty much all we know. New characters, new location, and new weapons, and that's all you can really ask for in a DLC. For people who have played it, there have been talks about how it actually enhances a couple endings to the game, and from the looks of the trailers that we see, I can definitely see it, and I definitely think it's going to make sense. Now, if you have this game on PS4 or any of the Xbox One versions, you will not be able to play the game because the Edge Runners update was the last support patch for the game. And I don't really know if that's upset anybody because it's one of those situations where it's like you gotta kinda get with the times, which sucks because the consoles just became like really readily available within the past like five months and they're still expensive. But I, I still think it's one of those situations where you just have to kind of bite the bullet. I played through the whole game on my Series X, but I'm probably going to replay it now on my PlayStation 5 and then play the DLC when it comes out and then do another video on how I feel about the DLC as like a long time cyberpunk fan. It sucks because I don't know if this is going to be like the last thing we get out of this universe. I think we'll probably get another show just because of the success of Edge Runners. And the game again did bounce back in a really, really, really big and good way. But I think just the success of this DLC is going to kind of dictate where Cyberpunk goes from here. I mean, I'd be okay with just getting more shows because I think Edge Runners was one of the best shows that we've gotten in a very long time. If it if if it didn't come out in the same year as Arcane, it would have been probably the best show of the year. As long as I can drive a car down the street of Dogtown and not have it clip into a bridge while driving and make me restart my game completely like, like it did in the main game um i'll be pretty 